I paint world. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Um, if it's your first time visiting, I welcome you. If you're a returner, thanks for coming back. Um, this is just a series of parties that I've done. Um, a bunch of little clips of different parties and showing um, from the beginning stage to now. So this is like when I first started face painting. I was doing it for a dental office called Sunny Dental. Uh, so you can see my tattoo, I mean not tattoo, but face paint kit. I, I had the beginner kit right there on the table and I was just getting started. I wasn't really too advanced. That's my barber, um, Zena Hick, Zena's Hicks. Uh, you can catch him on style seat. But yeah, we was uh, doing a, going back to school event for this dental office. You see the line for the face paint? Looks like Six Flags almost. But yeah, this is where I kind of got my start from and got a lot of my practice at this dental office. Um, I wasn't as fast as I needed to be with a group of this size. But you know, I was still learning the basics, pacing myself, learning different techniques, trying different techniques. And I just, Expand it. Consistency. This is the party I got hired for. I'm using one of the apps that I use. Uh, I believe this is Richardson, Texas. It was a circus theme. It had nice decor, as you can tell. This is in, I believe, their dining area. Yeah, it was a nice, nice party, nice group, nice crowd. Fun kids. Um, this was a construction company I, I had was hired for to face paint for, I guess, an uh, um, employee and family Halloween theme they was doing. Uh, you see this large pizza right here. That's in Texas. Moon Tower Pizza with wings. Um, this party right here was in Mansfield, Texas. Uh, she was turning 50 and they gave her um, a party. This was in Grapevine, Texas, I believe, at a hotel. Pretty nice party. Fun crowd, it was an Indian um, culture. Um, this is where I had my first meatless lasagna. Pretty nice, pretty fun. You see Santa Claus right there. I don't know who's bigger, him or me. I'll let you guys decide. This was a party in DeSoto I was at. Um, like I said, again, my kit was still growing. Um, pretty fun crowd. Uh, balloon Twister right there from Fort Worth, Texas. I believe they had four or five bounce houses. Kid was turning two. Fun party. Uh, the party that just went off, that was in DeSoto as well. This party was in DeSoto, I believe. Yes, DeSoto. Um, at a park. And they also ended up being returning customers. This was an all adult party I did in North Dallas. This party was at Gillies, located in close to the downtown Dallas area. Uh, the kids got on the microphone and said face painter come to the stage. And so I walked to the stage because everybody was looking at me waiting for me. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't do anything though. But uh, you can see it's a nice, nice venue. Now that I think of it, I would have done the uh, Will Smith Fresh Prince of Bel Air episode when he was with the kids and he had to pass a class. The you Are My sun Sunshine skit. But I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that until afterwards. But yeah, it was a nice place. Fun party. Fun kids. These are my 
clients from California. I've had the chance of face painting them two times already. Now, this is a baby shower that was uh, my California clients. They're located in Heat, I believe, Heat, Texas. This was in Sunnyvale, Texas, a baby shower. This right here was Plano, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. One of the kids there said I was the best face painter ever. And I don't think the kid was lying. Uh, this was in Plano, Texas as well. An event that they had um, in their cul-de-sac. See, I took a picture with the fireman. I asked the police officers to do a skit with me because the skits were big back then at the time um, of arresting me for impersonating a face painter. But they said that they couldn't do it because um, it could cause riots and so on. So they have like strict policy that they have to follow to not do it. And you know, I understood. But yeah, I was set up right there, as you can see. But as I was about to leave after my time expired, that's when they started bringing the food and setting up and the band was coming. And I was like, oh man, about to miss the real party. Uh, this was a party in Mesquite, Texas, I believe. Uh, it's kind of hard to remember all these locations, you guys, but once you do so many parties, it's hard to remember names too, but you remember the faces though. This was in North Dallas. Uh, two sweet parties she was turning to. She didn't let me paint her until like towards the end of the party. I painted some donuts on her legs. Cause she wasn't feeling it at first. But overall it was a nice party, fun party. This was in Parker, Texas. Uh, it was my first time seeing a drive up rock climb I thought it was pretty cool so I wanted to get it on video show you guys yeah I'm, I set up over here to the side in the shade I wanted to do the rock climbing but you know they had hired me to face paint I didn't want to look unprofessional As you can see I'm right there I was walking to the front because they had a petting zoo coming and I was trying to see um, the animals get off out of the trailer. They were still unloading, as you can see. But yes, that was a okay party too. Um, I actually did this couple, I did their party in DeSoto, Texas at the park that you seen earlier. It was the second time that they hired me. Um, this is one of their um, activities they have when you hire them. They have the train and also ponies, unicorn-like ponies with colorful hair and stuff. But this party was in Dallas. Uh, this party was in Waxahachie, I believe. Or do I want to say Hutchin? Um, this party was for... Um, it was a Mexican theme type party. I think the little girl was turning three. And I think that turning three and age 15 is kind of big in their culture. Was it three or five? I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't give me the line y'all. I don't really remember. I just know I was there to face paint. I sat and watched for a while when we first got there and then um, I went and set up over to the left. Uh, this was chicken and pickle. It was my first time. I haven't been back yet, but uh, it, it was a privilege. It was an honor. It was fun. Like I was shocked when I figured out what it was when I pulled up. I didn't know it was going to be this big of an event. They had tables set up for me and everything, and all of the kids came, and all of the green decor they had. Um, this was an old classmate of mine. She hired me to do her daughter's birthday party. It was pretty cold that day, but so I tried to sit up by the um, the furnace right there, the heat and everything. 
kids were lined up waiting for me like always they had uh what's the movie in in tango and tago we don't talk about bruno bruno yeah you seen that doll she was there at that party uh, this was a party in probably north dallas i believe oh, they had bunnies and stuff and pet zoo goat and they had me as well we set up in the front yard there and this party right here was in mesquite texas um it was the first day of spring she actually reached out to me again but i was already booked so i wasn't able to go back a second time and then what she did was tie ribbons around a tree for it to symbolize um, just the first day of spring this party right here was in sunnyville you see it's like a luau thing I was sitting right next to the grill, so I smelled Thank the burgers. Party. I'm posted and up smelling those so there. good. Um, this party right here was next to the Galleria. Nice um, as you can see, yes, uh, multi-million dollar home. A lot of decor. A lot of yard. Um, it surprised me when I pulled up, they had uh, three people outside and they were asking me that I want a valet park or self park. I was like, oh my, I was, yeah. Guess I self park, I didn't have any cash. Uh, this party was in North Dallas, I believe, Lake Highland, somewhere like that. And they were having a renovation done for a pool in the back. This was my first wedding I ever done, face painting. You can see um, a lot of the kids didn't show up because it was supposed to storm outside, so people didn't come to the wedding, but it doesn't matter. As long as those two was there, that's all that matter, right? This was a daycare that I was doing in Dallas, the Pleasant Grove area. You can see the kids, they just love to come to the face painter. And you're the main attraction most of the time, no matter what they have going on. This kid right here, he got in the chair, he asked for Shadow. I didn't even know who Shadow was. I had to look it up. That's one thing that I recommend other face painters do. You have to be in tune with what's hot right now for kids, what's going on, and what they're doing. Like You have to know these characters, learn these characters. Um, this was a sneaker and dress um, dance team set, a dinner. I just had like a dinner and stuff and um, sneakers and dresses. You know, just a dance team doing that thing. Uh, this was a Whoville theme at a church in Richardson. One of the biggest events I've ever done, I believe. Very, very nice event. I hope that I'm locked in with them. I work five hours straight with two other face painters. So we was in that room where you see all those people lined up at. That's where we were. And they would just come and take their time and get their face painted. Um, this right here is an event at the Chevrolet dealership in Duncanville off of 67 a week then. Yeah, it was okay during the day, but then it actually starts storming. It got kind of cool. You can see everybody out there with the hoodies on, the jackets on. It was kind of cold out there. Um, this event was at Louisville in the hotel. They was about to sing the birthday, happy birthday. So I just uh, wanted to get a quick video of the event. This was in Wiley, Texas. Pretty fun event, nice family. Great hos hospitality. Uh, they, they started making slime. They had a bounce house and stuff and they had me. But yeah, you can see some of the faces that's painted right there. This was Von Miller Day in DeSoto, Texas. Yep, Von Miller Day very packed event a lot of people 
lined up to get their face painted or they was trying to follow Von Miller. I mean, he took as many pictures and gave as many autographs as he could, you know. Um, when I first got there, I was at a different location, but I had my Seahawks tent up. They came and asked me to take my Seahawks tent down. And I understood, you know, Von Miller only paid for the Los Angeles Rams. Denver Broncos and now Buffalo Bills and he was paying for everything so you know I understood um, this event was in Dallas too as you can see the lady uh, the mother of the the grandmother of the birthday girl she actually turned the fan towards me the fan was cool enough to venue but she told them to turn the fan towards me and I was the only one really getting the fan. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but it was a big party for a two-year-old. We seen everything that was inside. Now we have outside. We had three large, two large bounce houses. One's like an obstacle course, and you have the regular bounce house, and then you had the riding mechanical bull, the riding bull. So yeah, I mean, that's how the parties are now for these one or two year olds, you guys. Like the ones I've been to, they've been big. It's been bigger than my parties. And this was in Arlington, Texas, I think. Um, another Indian culture. Uh, sorry for the view of the face paint kit with no paint on it. But yeah, but what was different about this one? They wanted me to paint their hands instead of their faces. I think I only painted two faces out of all the kids over there. Pretty cool. This was a party that was by North Park Mall in Dallas. Or was it the Galleria Mall? I'm sorry, it may have been the Galleria Mall. Yeah, it was the Galleria. Right across the freeway from it. Uh, we set up, I set up in the front yard. I had a little girl right there that was set up. She had her own little face painting going on. I thought it was pretty cute. Uh, but yeah, it was two girls celebrating birthday on the same day. One was turning five, one was turning six. Okay, this is ASI Gymnastics and Rockwall. You see, they rented it out for a party. So it was only their party there at that time. This was an event in Cedar Hill. What's funny about this is the owner of the venue, she actually, I actually did some painting in her house. And she told me that she had a venue, but I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see it or any photos or anything, but I ended up getting hired and I seen her there. I asked her, was it this your venue? She was like, yes, this is it. It was like, cool, you know, kind of caught up or whatever blah blah but this event right here was in Louisville this was at the Bill Weaver Center Rodeo um, pretty cool event you see all the vendors out there set up pretty fun it's me parked right there in the way I was still kind of unloading and setting up before I drove out to go park um, it was a Mexican rodeo I'm not Mexican but I was hired I think they will have me back based on the uh, the feedback that they received. Um, it was pretty fun. It kind of rained a little bit, which was helpful with the heat. But as far as setting up, there were no ants, there were no bugs. So I thought that was cool. That was a plus. Um, this little guy right here, man, he he was an artist too, so I kind of want to shine the light on him. Uh, I talked to his father. We was talking about how I got started and so on. And my book is coming out, You're the Face Painter. Um, this was in Mansfield at a basketball tournament, Lake Ridge High School. You can see. Um, it just... This is the second year I've been working with um, the coordinator of this 
um, Pacific Tournament. And I just appreciate you guys for watching, you know, and I hope that I wish you all the best. Um, I hope this wasn't boring to you and you watched it all the way through, but I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy life and I thank you for your time. I paint by touch on all social media platforms. More to come.